There are many people in America that do not recognize where their rights begin and end. And the truth is that people don't think about where their rights are until they're shown the door. It is hard for me to do some of the things that the Lord asks me to. But openly, there are always people trying to play at me as if they're in power with me or beside me, and they're not. I have a business sort of neighbor. It is a micro business who is a panhandler. It is a female, or she, it is her husband, who has literally lost a leg in some sort of shotgun fight. I don't know the rest of the story, and I frankly don't care. But when the Lord says, please make sure she has a little food, I do this in remembrance of Jesus. I don't do this because I have a care for that child. And I know this is hard for me and others to hear because I have a place in my soul for only one lady. And that lady is pretty impressive. But I have a place in my soul for two or three others who are God's backup plan is what people might say, but they're people that God puts on my heart. And the people that God puts on my heart are my choice, not at all. They are God's choice for me. And God's choice for me provided them into my life in different ways. The three most predominant people at this time in my life are not related to me in any way. The first woman changed my life for the Lord. The second woman learned from me about God. And the third woman is teaching me things all the time when I listen to her incredible interviews and I see her soul. But beyond that, there is no child in this community ever that's going to tempt me. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar of Satan. At no time do I like my neighbors. At no time do I enjoy the people I have to interact with because I can like them for who they are just as they are. But I am never interested in a retail employee to become any part of my external family.